I'm Barbara Herwick, and welcome to Sounding Board, a production of Seroptimus International of Novato. We are an international and local organization whose mission is to improve the lives of women and girls through programs leading to social and economic empowerment. Today we'll be talking to Corey Kanzenberg. Welcome, Corey. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So glad to be here. Corey is from Homeward Bound, and today we'll be talking about Oma Village, a community of 14 small rental homes for families transitioning out of homelessness here in Novato near Hamilton. Let's take a look before we start talking at the story of Leo and Nina. My family is everything, something that I wouldn't risk losing or giving up, something that um, I'm proud of. Tia just came around and she just, she made us whole, you know, our daughter made us whole. It's a reward every day to wake up and to see, you know, our daughter growing up, you know, day by day and, you know, it goes by very quickly. Bye, I'll see you later, okay? Bye, Jumping around from place to place with Tia up until she was two years old, basically living out of the shop, you know, and and even then that came to a halt. And luckily we had, a, I scraped up just enough change just to get a, a hotel, which brung a little relief at the time. Shocked with these doctors telling me, I'm like, nah, not my kid. When we had her got a diagnosed, we were wondering why she wasn't talking like a lot of children. And everybody grows up on their own different times, you know what I mean? But she isn't, she's, her communication level is very hard for her to communicate with, uh, with us. So that makes everything else harder. You know, what she likes to eat, you know, potty training, everything. I don't know what I would do without my daughter. You know, like, and I'm feel, it's like when you're a parent, you feel helpless when things happen. But the biggest thing that we've ever wanted for our family, not to mention this little one, is a sense of security. And that's what, <laughs> that's what, that's what Oma has given us and so many more opportunities. We don't have to worry about, you know, what's next. The bad times made me value what we have now much more than ever. Become like better parents, um, more financially stable. Just we got the opportunity through the blessings of this this establishment, this program. Bottom line, we're really thankful for that. <laughs> I know school time. School, school time, Tia. Okay. Can you leave Lizard here? He'll be here when you get home. You know these opportunities for me to go back to you know, school and for my daughter to have the education she wants and needs and, you know, just to have, you know, a good career for him. It's just everything started really coming together. Personally, going through everything that we've gone through, it just, it feels good to know that somebody cares. <laughs> everybody else dreamed of, you know, owning their own home. And that's our next plan. So education, home. She goes to school for her early intervention and end daycare. They all see like a huge jump since she's been stable. Watching her grow up and getting the necessary and the appropriate uh, love that she deserves from the community, from from the schools, from her peers, and it's just, it's beautiful, you know, and that's what keeps my heart warm. Homer Bound has helped create a, such a beautiful and healthy environment. 
So it's really inspiring to see the difference that um, this program has made in Leo and Nina's and their baby girl's life. Um, how are they doing? As far as I know, they're continuing to thrive in the program, and um, we're so glad and happy for them. And you said earlier that they, you just filmed this, so this was... Yes, so that's a really recent video. You can see there was a Christmas tree, I think, in the background. It was filmed around the holidays, so just a few short months ago. Yeah. That's great. And um, tell us about Oma Village and how it got started and, and some of the other stories that are sure. there. Well, clearly we have a need for affordable housing here in Marin. Um, so Oma Village, you know, when it came about, we actually reused a blighted site um, in Hamilton. So there used to be like a, another facility located there. It was um, slated for demolition, and Oma Village was, was then built. Um, it's really modern housing. It's, it's different in terms of affordable housing and what affordable housing might typically look like to some of us. Um, these are really nice one and two bedroom apartments for families. There's 14 units total. They're at capacity right now. Um, there's families living there that, uh, you know, they really get along. They watch their kids play on the playground in the middle of the complex together. Uh, they're really part of the community. We do special events where we'll have librarians come in and Recently, they registered um, all of our, you know, all of our uh, tenants for library cards and talk about their resources that they have available. We do special events around Mother's Day and Valentine's Day, and and also just make sure that we're providing the support that the families need to build their savings and and be successful in their careers or education or whatever they are pursuing. And um, this is just what a year old. Uh Building yeah. and village? Yeah, so we just celebrated the, really the one year anniversary of Oma Village. So we're really <laughs> pleased at how it's turned out. You know, everybody's really just doing so well in the program. It's, it really is thriving and it's great to watch it um, develop. And is there a wait list to get, get into Oma? So because Oma Village, it's permanent affordable housing, that means families can stay there until they have a child that turns 18. So if there was a wait list, it would be coordinated um, through our county system of other nonprofits uh, that kind of decide who has the highest need that will get into that program. But right now, because it's at full capacity, uh, there and there's families that are intending to, to stay there as long as they're in good standing, uh, you know, it, it will just be those 14 families living there. And what comes next for these families after Oma Village? So what comes next. So they have to decide what they're going to do with their lives after Oma Village. So that's why they work with our supportive staff to build their savings, to further their careers and make plans for the future. Okay. And um, if our viewers wanted to donate or get involved, what's the best way for us to do that? Well, certainly if viewers wanted to donate, they could visit our website, which is www.hbofm.org. There is a Donate Now button via PayPal, I think. Um, we're always looking for volunteers. You can call us or also visit our website to see what kind of volunteer needs we might have. Okay, well, thank you so much for being on our show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I really yeah. appreciated it. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today.